to the fight, how did you have a, what was your prediction going in? Um, I thought that Deontay would certainly knock him down because he always lands the right hand eventually. And if Tyson got up again, he'd win the fight because he won the fight the first time. Did you? So uh, they called it a draw, but Tyson won almost every round except for the two he was knocked out, knocked down in. And in this fight, he won every round and knocked him down twice. I mean, they've now fought 19 rounds, and I thought Tyson Fury won at least 14 of them, if not 17 of them. So, what you know. if anything could Wilder do to adjust in the trilogy to get the win? Does he have to always knock out? Fury to win, or can he win? No, I don't decision? think he can win a, a fight on points. I mean, if, and if he did, it would be because he'd knocked them down and was piling up points that way, you know? Um, I don't think that there's anything that Wilder can do other than land a big right hand between now and a rematch that would change the result. And, and the thing about Fury is he's already shown he can get caught with that right hand in the 12th round, get up, and finish the fight strong. So even then, it's not a great chance for Deontay. I think the right thing to do would be to build Deontay up, get him a, a, you know, a, a fight against the guy he's going to knock out easily, just to go through that training camp, get his confidence back, get him in with a big guy who can do certain things that resemble Tyson Fury a little bit. It's going to be hard to do, but you can find like a big body who can do that. If you get a win there, you should then fight a live body who has a chance to win. And if, Ty and if Deontay did that in those three fights over the course of a year, let's say, he could refine things and work on a game plan. But other than a big right hand, I don't see what he can do between now and a rematch that would make anyone think he can win the fight. It seemed like the, the, right, the power of the right hand switched in this fight because Fury's right hand seemed like he was throwing a lot more overhand rights than Wilder well, punchers was. Punchers a lot of times have a hard time generating force going backwards. So he made the puncher move backwards. And that, and that was basically a wrap. Um, but even then, I felt like at any moment, Deontay, because Deontay throws an awkward hooking right hand off his back foot, as though he's supposed to throw it straight. And, and he throws that. Everyone thinks, oh, he has that long right hand. But he also has that kind of medium distance, shorter, hook, weird kind of hook off the back foot that knocks people out. So I was thinking, Tyson better watch that, even at the very end. A, a hurt puncher is dangerous, but um, it, was a, it, it got, was a one in a hundred shot that he could land something like that as it was, uh, and, 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 you know, he got stopped. I got one last one for you. Um, can you describe the atmosphere here? We know it set a new record at the live gate. Crazy atmosphere. Yeah. How does it compare to some of the bigger fights you've seen? And let the people who may not have experienced it, what you felt tonight. It was you like, tonight. you know, it was a big fight. Like, you know, I could think of... Margarito and Cotto, or Joshua and Klitschko, or Mosley and De La Hoya, or, you know, like, uh, let alone Holyfield fights, Tyson fights. It was, there's nothing like a big fight atmosphere in all of sports, that's the thing, because it's the only contest where ding, ding, round one, this thing could end at any moment, you know? Right. So, and, and, and so there's, particularly with a puncher like Wilder, you're on pins and needles the whole time. Right. It was a great atmosphere. I felt like because of the ESPN and the top ring and the PBC, it really hit its its peak. You know what I mean? It was a it was a sign of what boxing can be, whether it's Spence Crawford in the future or things to come. Well, if Spence and Crawford can be made, that would be you know like I think that's the best fight in boxing. Yeah. You know, if Spence has recovered from his injuries and shows he's the same guy, that's the best fight you can make in boxing. Yeah. Champside, checking out with Max Kellerman. Appreciate you for Thank your time. You, Thank you, bro.